This woman is Kelly Heather. She shared her story about being diagnosed with a deadly form of melanoma called subungual melanoma. This is a skin cancer that develops underneath the nail. It can happen around the nail, etc., as well. But as you can see, hers is a line uh, down the nail. And this did turn out to be cancer. Another woman, Maria Silvia, um, this was highlighted in today.com. Uh, she also talks about a similar type of line that she had under her nail for a long period of time. She was encouraged to get it checked out. She did, and it also turned out to be cancer. I'm going to tell you how to check your nails and what you need to be looking for. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. Melanoma is the deadliest form of skin cancer, but melanoma can also develop underneath and around the fingernails. We don't always think about it developing there, but it can and it does. Now, anyone can get melanoma on their nails, but it is more common in older people and people of color. Um, the other thing is if you have like a, a family history of melanoma or like nail trauma, that and those things could be risk factors as well. Now, this information is according to the American Academy of Dermatology. The good thing is, is that um, in many situations, if it's found early, melanoma, even melanoma underneath the nail, can often be treated. But guys, the important thing here is getting diagnosed, paying attention to your body. So you not just want to, you don't just want to check your body, your skin for unusual moles and skin changes, but you also want to pay attention to your nails, not just your hands though, also your toenails as well. So one thing that you want to look out for is a dark streak, kind of like what I've shown you. Okay. It can be a brown or a black band on the nail. So sometimes it's the thumb or like the big toe. Okay. But honestly, it can show up on any nail. So a dark streak should always send you to the dermatologist to have that looked at. Now, let me tell you, a dark streak does not always mean it's melanoma, but you have to make sure it's not. So you've got to see a dermatologist. The next thing you want to look out for is dark skin that's next to the nail. Okay. The skin around the nail. If it's dark, if skin around the nail becomes dark, it could also become um, or be a sign of melanoma. OK, you got to see your dermatologist. Also, according to the American Academy of Dermatology, nail lifting from the fingers or toes. OK, like when the nail starts to separate from the nail bed, you want to see your doctor, your dermatologist about this. Also, nail splitting, like when a nail sort of splits down the middle, that's a sign you need to get that checked out. And any bump or nodule underneath the nail um, also needs to be checked out as well. OK. This is the thing, any abnormality of your nail, whether it's the things that I just mentioned or something else, go see a board certified dermatologist to get checked out. Sometimes wait uh, times to dermatologist can be a long time. So if you're not able to get a timely appointment, I always say, see your family doctor, let them know what's going on. And often we can help you get in sooner because if we are concerned about a melanoma under the nail, and I've done this for patients where I've called the dermatologist and been like, look, I am worried about this. Um, it helps get patients in. If we are worried about a melanoma, it's not something that should wait. Okay. So if you can't get a timely appointment, enlist other people, your other doctors to help you get one with a dermatologist who can take a look and figure out what's going on. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Please share this video with other people. Please write in the comments what your thoughts are. If you're familiar with this, if it's happened to you, someone else you know, uh, please uh, follow my channel on Facebook, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, etc. And also sign up for my free weekly health newsletter at drjencaudle.com.